Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that nested if statements. How a nested if statements can be uh, run or how you can utilize these nested if statements to uh, do your things are based on the um, uh, condition like the if condition is true then again it's going to be execute the if block true statement in that again we are going to run one more if condition and say that uh, let's example say nested so the first one is that if a block i'm going to run here it is that some condition i'm going to write over here then so it is going to execute this statement over here okay so this statement is going to execute based on above statement again i am going to run one more if statement within the if statement say the condition is to if the first statement is true then it's going to be execute a next if statement here okay then it's going to be execute else statement here itself or we can execute one more if so i'm going to close this else if statement over here itself because this is a uh, if block we are going to close over here then again we are going to write one more else if statement over here then it's going to execute this values over here okay so what happening over here so how the script goes so that's condition if the first condition is true then it's going to be execute this true statement in this true statement again it's going to validate one more second condition that okay if this statement is true then it's going to execute second condition that okay this is the condition it's true then it's going to be execute these blocks okay if then if this statement is false then it's going to be execute this statement okay then if this condition is false then it's going to be execute a else statement it not it will not going to execute this block okay it's go directly go to the else statement and exit the script so that is about the nested if statements okay in this what the example we are going to take over here it is that we are going to take some uh, subject marks over here say if a subject marks of a given student is averaged by three subjects then the total is uh, more than the average then that should be saying that okay this student got distinction okay if the given values is average value is not more than a 75 percent then the student got average marks not uh, just passed something like that so we are going to uh, throw some um, uh, conditions here then if condition is passed then we are going to say okay you got distinction or you got first class marks or you got second class mark or you failed okay so that is the uh, statement that is the script we are going to make over here so i'm going to run my template says that okay nested if nested if statement and i'm going to edit that um, scripts over here we nested if statement and say we are going to validate validate and report student subject marks okay so here we are going to say that first of all uh, we ask somebody to enter the subject marks over here uh, please enter uh, mass marks okay so how many the student got in, in mass then they are going to enter the mass value so sorry the mass uh, marks over here then again what i'm saying i'm copying this three times okay so the first one is read i am going to say over here you know, store into the mass values into m okay please enter maybe physics physics marks 
okay so what is the physics subject marks over here then i am going to store these values into p okay and i am again asking the user to enter the marks of chemistry okay then i am going to store these values into c then i am writing this if statement over here the first of all i am verifying that dollar m value is greater than or equal to 35 because the 35 is in a pass marks and um, say dollar p values is greater than or equal to 35 and dollar c value is greater than 35 because the first of all we are going to verify the student uh, mark says that is passed at least is passed then we are going to uh, verify the values is that okay these are the total uh, total marks if it is if he is passed then we are going to validate the next statements if he is fails then directly going to the else statement saying that he is failed okay i am writing something over here it is that the total values okay i am saying that total values here i am using expr to uh, calculate this total values okay dollar m and dollar p and dollar c say the total marks is this one then i am going to say average values okay the average value is expr okay how many values is divided by uh, how many subjects okay so this is that total divided by three in the sense we are going to validate three subjects marks that's why the total is divided by three equal to a average then say eco i am saying that uh, total marks so the total marks equal to dollar total so it is going to be say you this much total marks you got okay and eco i'm going to say average marks so the total average is uh, dollar average marks okay maybe this is okay then again i am going to say over here after that i am going to match these values say uh, dollar average value okay if dollar average value is greater than or equal to 75 which means the total value is more than 75 percent then we are going to say we are going to execute this statement is that eco congrats you got distinction okay congrats you got distinction the next one i'm going to say here else if so again i am validating the one more statement that dollar average value is greater than or equal to 60 and dollar average value is less than 75 because it within the 70 to 60 is just a first class right within eco i'm going to say uh, congrats you got first class okay so then again next one is i'm going to write again else if say if a average value is greater than or equal to 50 and dollar average is less than 60 within which means that uh, below 60 to 50 then i say eco you go at uh, second class marks okay or else no marks you got second class else if 
again i am going to validate these values over here okay whether it is second class or third class there are also a third class values over here then i am going to validate that statement saying that dollar average value greater than or equal to 35 and dollar average value is less than 50 okay less than 50 is third class then echo say uh, you got third class then i'm going to exit this block over here so else say echo sorry you failed f5 so <coughs> <coughs> what this block is going to do over here it is that <coughs> first of all it verifies that all the subject marks more than a pass marks if all the subject marks are more than a pass marks then it's going to enter into this block or else it's going to say sorry you failed okay then if these all statements are true then it's going to say that okay it calculates the total value so in the sense how many or what are the numbers you give and the marks then it's going to say total then total values is are divided by the three because we are going to ex um, run a three subject marks then say the total marks is this many and the average is this much percentage then we are going to say if the average percent is more than a 75 then it say you got a distinction and if the average value is within 60 are the less than the 75 are the greater than 60 and less than 75 marks then it say congrats you got first class or the third statement is going to validate that if a uh, average values is more than 50 and uh, within 60 then it says second class if a average value is the percentage is 35 within or less than 30 less than 50 then it's going to say third class or if the first block all these statements are not true in the sense one of the subject is failed in the sense below 35 marks then it's going to say sorry you failed okay this is the script over here we are going to execute uh, nested if value and say enter the uh, some marks on the mass say 90 and physics 99 maybe on um, chemistry 98 so it going to say total marks is 287 and the average marks of this one is 95 percent which means that congrats you got distinction okay again we are going to say enter something like uh, 32 in math and 99 in physics chemistry is 99 same sorry you failed because he got good marks in physics and chemistry but he, he lose in maths okay maybe we can enter something average values over here for example say 36 37 38 then say the total mark is triple one the average is 37 then you got third class marks so this is the else if statement i hope uh, nested if statement i hope you understand uh, better let's say again i'm going to explain this block over here so above we are going to say um, enter the marks of the subjects example say mass physics chemistry and we are going to validate that marks using the logical and operator says that the mass values is more than 35 and physics is more than 35 and chemistry is more than 35 if this statement is true then it's going to enter into this block say it will calculate the total values and average values all these uh, values then if this none of the value is uh, true or one of the value is false then it immediately goes to the um, else statement and say sorry you failed okay if all these blocks are true then it's going to validate that average value that if the average value is 75 or greater than 75 then it's going to say you got a distinction okay or if a value of the average average value is greater than 60 
and below 75 then they say they got first marks if the average value is 50 greater than 50 and below 60 then they say second class okay if a average value is greater than 35 and below 50 they got third class that's about these scripts okay i hopefully i um, hopefully you understand the nested if statement thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask